In football, there's no guarantee that the position you start out playing will be the position you end up playing. Courtois, Drogba and Bale all started out as defenders, but they ended up playing very different positions. You just have to keep adapting. And today, we're going to be looking at some of the kings of adaptation in the modern game. Here are 10 footballers excelling in a new position. We'll start with Camavinga. The 20-year-old midfielder has struggled for game time since he joined Real Madrid in 2021, but following injury, injuries to Mendy and Alaba this season, he's been playing a lot more, albeit in a different position from what he's used to. Ancelotti has decided to apply him in the left-back position, and Camavinga has been great. But it wasn't the Italian boss who discovered Camavinga's ability at left-back. That credit goes to Didier Deschamps, who used Camavinga in the defensive position at the 2022 World Cup. Lucas Hernandez sustained an injury in the group stage game against Australia, so France needed a quick fix at left-back, and Kammer played that role perfectly. He played the role again in the final and really held his own down. So when Madrid found themselves missing their two left backs, Ancelotti decided to throw Camavinga in there, and he has been fantastic. Now, will this change become permanent? It's hard to say right now, but time will tell. But while Kammer's being moved from midfield to defence, Stones has it the other way round. John Stones is originally a centre-back, but has been asked to play at right back by Pep a couple of times more often since Cancelo left for Bayern in January. But on top of being moved from centre-back to right-back, Pep has also assigned Stones a new role in the last few weeks. These days, the former Everton man plays as a defensive midfielder while City attack, creating some sort of a box midfield which helps Pep's men maintain dominance at the centre of the pack. We saw this play out pretty fantastically, particularly in the Champions League quarter-final games against Bayern Munich. This little change of position for Stones has worked out so well well for Pep that Klopp decided to adopt it. These days, instead of running up and down the right flank, Trent plays a much different role. He now slots into the midfield and acts as a second pivot, and so far it's worked so well for the team and the player himself. Trent, who has come under fire a lot of times this season for his performances, now seems to be getting back his old self in this new position. From struggling to affect games all season, Trent has now provided five assists in his last four games. Games. Now that's the Trent we all used to know. But Kalinoglu is surely not the guy we used to know. During his days in Germany and AC Milan, we all knew the Turkish baller as an attacking midfielder. He played that role so well back then that he was often compared to Mesut Ozil. If he wasn't playing as a 10, he was perhaps cutting him from the wings or playing as a second striker. He has just always been an attacking-minded player. However, these days, Kalinoglu's role at Inter seems to have changed. He's now been transformed from an attacking midfielder to a holding midfielder, or a deep-lying playmaker if you like. In this new role, he seems to offer more to Inter, and considering they're now in the final of the Coppa Italia and in the semi-final of the Champions League, you have to say it's worked a treat. On the other side of Milan, however, it's Brahim Diaz who has had to experience a change of roles. The former Man City man gained popularity for being a brilliant attacking midfielder, or a 10 if you'd like, in his younger days, but he's seen his role change under Stefano Pioli. Diaz, who has been on loan from Madrid to AC Milan since 2020, has been so influential in Milan's resurgence, and he's been influencing the game from the right side of attack and not the midfield. But the boy has been so good in his new position that former Milan and Italy coach Arrigo Sacchi said that Diaz has finally found his ideal position. And this might be really good for the youngster, because if he'll be returning to Madrid, he'd be more likely to secure a place in the first team as a right winger than as a midfielder. But while Brahim Diaz got taken out of the midfield, Granit Xhaka only got moved around within the midfield. Prior to Arteta's arrival at Arsenal, Xhaka was known primarily as a defensive midfielder. But the Spanish boss came in, convinced the Swiss midfielder to stay when he already had one leg out of the club, and gave him a new role which completely redefined him. Arteta bought Thomas Partey and gave him the role of a defensive midfielder, while he moved Xhaka to attacking midfield. 
and that role change seems to have worked really well. Xhaka is doing great further up the pitch and has already managed 10 goal contributions in the Premier League this season, a number he could only dream of in previous seasons. But here's one thing many of us never dreamed could happen, Luke Shaw playing as a centre-back. Since he burst onto the scene as a Southampton player, we've all known Luke Shaw as a left-back, nothing more. And if he could even try his hands in any other position, we would have thought it may be right-back or left-wing forward. But this season, we saw Eric Ten Hag use him as a centre-back and, surprisingly, he has done so well in that position. United have been hit with injuries in the middle of the defence this season with Varane and Lissandro Martinez sidelined for weeks. Knowing that he can't exactly trust Maguire in the middle of the defence, Ten Hag decided to throw Luke Shaw there and he has been just great. Shaw has played more than just a few games as a centre-back for United this season and even though we know this is only temporary, he has been truly fantastic in his new role. But while Shaw's change of position is temporary, Ben White looks rather permanent. Ben White was a full-on centre-back during his Brighton days and even his first season at Arsenal. But this season, after Saliba was welcomed back to the Emirates, Arteta started to deploy White as a right-back and he has been truly fantastic in that position. He's great at defending and also fantastic going forward. He currently has seven goal contributions in the Premier League this season from the right-back position. Ben White plays his new role so well that we'll doubt he'll ever go back to playing as a centre-back, except maybe during an injury crisis. But of everyone on this list, a person who a change of position appears to have helped the most is Joe Linton. In 2019, Newcastle signed him for a club record fee of £40 million. He was signed as a forward, but he struggled to get the goals, and so was regarded a flop in his first two seasons seasons at the club, but Eddie Howe came in in November 2021 and immediately switched things up. He moved Joe Linton from being a forward to being a midfielder and that worked wonders. In his new role as a box-to-box -box midfielder, Joe Linton became one of the most important players for Newcastle and he even won the award for Newcastle United Player of the Year in 2022. Joe Linton has now been fully converted into a midfielder and only plays on the left wing if Alan Sam Maximam and Gordon are injured or unavailable. Finally, let's head over to Germany to check out Rafael Guerrero. The France-born Portuguese international has seen his role change from left-back to centre midfield at Dortmund. He was first used as a midfielder in 2016 by Thomas Tuchel, back when the German was Dortmund boss. That switch wasn't exactly maintained following Tuchel's exit, but in recent games, it appears that Marco Rose might be trying to give Guerrero a role in the midfield, even though he still doesn't seem completely decided. Guerrero played as a left-back in the Champions League round of 16 game against Chelsea. Meanwhile, he played as a midfielder in the Bundesliga game against Bayern and the DFB Pokal quarterfinal against Leipzig. We only have to wait and see what eventually sticks, but one thing is sure, Guerrero is excelling in his new position. And we're sure that there are more players who are excelling in new positions. Share their names with us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!